This tutorial is for 5th grade, Module 2, Lesson 23. In this lesson, we're going to look at division problems with four-digit dividends, and we're going to especially look at how to deal with zeros in our quotients. The first problem is 8,115 divided by 39. I'll start by asking how many groups of 39 I can take out of 8. Well, I can't take any groups of 39 out of 8, so I'm going to slide the 8 over to the next box. And now my question is, how many groups of 39 can we take out of 81? Well, I can think of 39 as 40. That's going to help me just get close to choosing the correct number. So since we can take two groups of 40 out of 81, 40 times 2 is 80, then I'm going to guess that we can take two groups of 39 out of 81. I'll do the 39 times 2 over here in my workspace. So I have 39 times 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. I could also do that mentally. I could think of the fact that 2 times 40 is 80, and 2 times 39 would be 2 less than that, since 39 is 1 less than 40. So students are welcome to do that mental math as well. Okay, so let's take 78 away from 81. And again, I'm going to use mental math here. I know that 78 and 81 are three apart. It takes me two to get from 78 to 80, and then one more would take me to 81. So I'm going to add up instead of uh, doing the standard subtraction algorithm here. And we'll write that at the top. So that was two groups. Now I'll take the three and move that over. And I ask the question, how many groups of 39 can I get out of 31? Well, since 39 is greater than 31, I can't take any groups out. So we'll show that as zero, zero groups of 39. Now I could do that subtraction here. Zero times 39 is zero. Um, but I'm just going to do this a little more efficiently and move the 31 over. Now the question is, how many groups of 39 can I take out of 315? So again, if I think of 40, think 40, 80, 120, and so on. So let's see how close I can get. Well, seven groups of 40 would be 280. Eight groups of 40 would be 320. 320 is pretty close to 315. It's a little bit higher, but I'm also going to take it times 39 instead of 40. So let's try that. We'll try uh, 39 times 8. So 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 7 is 31. And that works. So we will subtract 312. Gives me 3. And that was 8 groups. So I have a remainder 3. So 8,115 divided by 39 is 208, remainder 3. Let's look at another problem. This time I have 1,504 divided by 6. I'll start by asking how many groups of 6 I can get out of 1. Well, I can't get any groups of 6 out of 1, so I'm going to slide the 1 over. And now the question is, how many groups of 6 can I get out of 15? Well, 6 times 2 is 12, so we'll start there. Two groups of 6. I'll subtract the 12, and I get 3. I'll bring the 3 over to the next box. How many groups of 6 can I get out of 30? Well, 5 times 6 is 30 itself, so we'll say 5 groups. Since 5 times 6 is 30, that's what I will subtract. I have nothing left over. And the next question is, how many groups of 6 can I get out of 4? Well, I can't get any groups of 6 out of 4, so I'm going to say 0 groups. And again, I can do that subtraction. 0 times 6 is 0. I subtract, and I have a remainder of 4. So 1,504 divided by 6 is 250 remainder Four. So it's important when the students are doing these problems to make sure that each box has a number above it once they've started uh, recording their quotient. 
we don't want any blank spots um, because that would indicate that they forgot to write one of their numbers up above. And so that includes the number zero. So we need to include that when necessary.